If you're looking at getting some home help for yourself or your parents, probably top of mind would be cost. Well, there are government subsidies available to us to help with this, and Anglicare in Southern Queensland can also answer some of those questions about that cost and the subsidies access. Ken Shauhan from Anglicare is with us today to help us out. Ken, is it as tricky as we might perceive it to be? A lot of people think that it's tricky, but I always say if you do one thing at a time, it can be quite manageable. Um, first thing everyone should do is just ring My Aged Care. Um, it's a simple toll-free number, 1800. Um, there is no wait times. Um, once you go through someone um, there, they'll register you with My Aged Care. They'll organise an in-home assessment. And depending on your needs, um, after the assessment, you will get an approval for a government funded services. Does everyone have to pay for home care? Yes or no. Um, if your care needs are temporary in nature, um, then under that scheme, you're likely to have uh, to pay $10 per service approximately uh, because that funding is not means tested. But as your needs increase um, and when you go to a home care package, they are income assessed. Um, and depending on your financial circumstances, uh, you may have to pay anywhere up to uh, $29.92 per day. That doesn't sound too complicated. Are there any other costs that we should be aware of? Um, the only other notable cost is uh, basic daily fee, uh, which is 17.5% of a daily pension rate. Currently it sits at $10.43 uh, per day. Uh, it's not a mandatory contribution. Some providers um, make it mandatory, some don't. Anglicare, uh, we waive that completely. And if you um, need any assistance around the finance for packages, um, you're always welcome to contact the concierge team. Thank you, Ken, for answering our questions. You're welcome.